Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about timing of prescribing puberty blockers. So are puberty blockers safe for nine-year-olds? The quick answer is yes. Um, and this is because we use puberty blockers for something called precocious puberty. Um, that is something when a child begins puberty under the age of eight, we use a GnRH agonist to slow down their puberty. Um, if someone is six years old and they are a Tanner stage three, uh, that is a problem and we need to medically intervene. And so we would use something like Luprolide to slow that process. And um, GnRH agonists are actually the safest method to delay puberty in someone with precocious puberty. So yes, we use Luprolide on people younger than nine. So yes, they are safe uh, for nine-year-olds. Um, but we are gonna talk today about when uh, we would prescribe puberty blockers. And this is kind of a nuanced topic because like I said in my Tanner stages of puberty video, um, there are kind of age ranges that we'd see with these Tanner stages and not a set age. Um, so I can't really give you a set answer on, yes, we would prescribe this at 11 years old or 13 years old. Um, it really depends on the individual and when they hit these certain stages of puberty. Uh, so we're going to cover that today. So when would we prescribe So we'll just kind of go by stages and uh, see what we get. So Tanner stage one, can we prescribe at Tanner stage one? Uh, I mean, this is a theoretically a good concept, um, getting ahead of the puberty uh, before it happens, but we can't do this. So the, the quick answer is no. And this is due to a medical phenomenon that we call a giant waste of time. Uh, and that is because uh, you can't block a puberty that isn't there. Uh, puberty blockers block puberty. And if puberty isn't happening, um, you can't block it. So no, you cannot. Well, you can prescribe it, uh, but it's not going to do anything. It's going to be pointless. So there's no point in prescribing Luprolide to somebody under uh, Tanner stage two. Um, so Tanner stage... two is our ideal point for starting Luprolide. Um, and if we review from last time, we can confirm Tanner stage two uh, by breast bud development in those assigned female and testicular enlargement in those assigned male. Uh, we can also confirm with uh, an increase in LH and FSH, because if you remember, uh, we have a, a nice surge of these hormones when puberty starts, and this is kind of what we're aiming to block with GnRHAs. Um, so we can confirm that way. We can also confirm, like I said, on physical examination. Um, and stage two is the ideal point to block because this is before they've uh, undergone the rest of the irreversible puberty process. And so this is really what we're trying to target with Luprolide. Um, but what happens, let's say if uh, somebody doesn't know that they're trans uh, at Tanner stage two, um, they've gone a little bit longer and then they decide that they do want to transition. So can you, can you prescribe these at say Tanner stage three or four? Uh, and the answer is yes. It's a little bit more difficult because they've already undergone some irreversible process. Um, so in Tanner stage three and four, really what we're doing is we're uh, using a GnRHA concurrent with HRT most of the time. Uh, and this is because, uh, like I said previously, um, using HRT... Uh, can greatly, uh, rapidly increase someone's rate of puberty. And at Tanner stage three and four, uh, in someone who's transmasculine, we may want to suppress menzies or we may want to suppress hair growth uh, and keep them in at least a more androgynous state so that um, they don't fully undergo their irreversible puberty. Um, but suppressing menzies with testosterone alone uh, would require a, a really high amount of testosterone. And so we can use a GnRHA with HRT so that we can use a lower amount of HRT at first uh, with 
the child. Um, and so that's typically what we would do in Tanner stages three and four. Um, but let's say they've reached Tanner stage five. So they would already, uh, for all intents and purposes, be considered an adult. And um, this one is a little bit more complicated because there's really no puberty left to block, uh, but you can still, uh, in someone like this, it may be more advantageous to start them on HRT, um, but you can use the GNRHA, like I said, first uh, Tanner stages three and four uh, to titrate HRT. And so titrate is a concept where you initially give a lower dose of a medication and then gradually increase over time until the desired amount. Um, and so we would use the GNRHA uh, to kind of um, halt menzies, halt any uh, additional hair growth while we uh, slowly increase the amount of testosterone or estrogens that someone may be on. Um, but you also don't necessarily need to use a GNRHA to do this. Um, in those assigned female, you could also use uh, an OCP or an over-the-counter uh, birth control uh, to do the same thing. Uh, or in someone assigned male, you can use um, uh, an androgen blocker such as uh, spironolactone, uh, you can use progestins, uh, or finasteride. Um, and then that can have a similar result while you are uh, using your HRT to achieve uh, their desired sex characteristics. And so this is kind of our guideline, what we go off of when prescribing puberty blockers, um, the stages that we would want to use them at. And uh, I hope this was helpful for you all. If you have any uh, questions or comments, leave them down below. Again, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all in the next one.